Hey guys, Eric Xander here, and today I'm going to do a video request for my friend Alexander Does Stuff, who asked um, if I could do a video on how to uh, get this program called Joy to Key to uh, work, which pretty much is a program that um, it allows you to uh, use a joypad um, in place of keys. So let's say if I make X on the on my pad, I can make it like the letter E or anything. So you can pretty much control your computer with a joypad, and that can really help um, when you're playing games that uh, don't uh, allow for um, a joypad or a, a gamepad input, but only allows the keyboard. You can put the keys from the keyboard onto your joypad or gamepad. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I will give you this link in the description to this thing called Joy to Key. Uh, it only works on Windows 7, Vista, and XP. Uh, that's pretty much it. So just click download Joy to Key from CNET. Uh, I guess I could just give you this link and then press download now. And uh, do, do, do. here it's downloading. Oh, sorry, done. All right, show in folder. I'm just going to drag that to my desktop. That's all that you have to download. Uh, double click it press yes you didn't see it but there's a thing you have to press yes uh, and it'll take a minute to install and I'll skip the video okay so once you're here press next step um, press decline here do not accept that um, decline okay yeah, it's going to have two ads, and um, they trick you into wanting to accept it, but you're going to want to click decline, or else it's going to download extra stuff, and you just want to join the key. Okay, so now that's done, uh, press open. And this is join the key. Uh, double click that. This is the whole thing. So uh, just, this is what you need, the extension right here. Just double click that. Actually, no, don't click it yet. Um, first, plug in your joypad. Uh, I keep calling it a joypad. Gamepad. Uh, mine is just a PlayStation 2 controller with this little add-on that lets me plug it into my computer. Uh, you can use any gamepad um, that your computer registers. And um, So now that it's plugged in, uh, then press the extension. And this is what you have. This is your uh, profile thing. Alright, so once you're here, um, you have to uh, you're able to configure the buttons um, on your gamepad, but first you have to find out what button here corresponds to what button on here. Uh, that sounded confusing. Uh, just go to your start and type in um, devices and printer and yeah, devices and printers. That's where you want to go. Uh, wait for that to load up a little bit. And then uh, go to whichever one's your you, uh, joystick. Mine's twin USB. Yours might be something different. Whatever yours is, uh, right-click it. Uh, go to Game Controller Settings. And uh, go to Properties. And as you, now press a button on your joypad. All right. If you, I'm pressing the arrow keys, so this thing's moving. So you know that. Uh, I'm pressing X. So I know X is 3. Uh, circles 2, triangles 1, squares 4, start is 9, or selects 9, start. Well, just press around the buttons and uh, y you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, whatever button you press here is what the button, like if it says 3 when I press X, that means X means 3. So I'm going to go to button number 1, which I know is triangle. So I'll double click it and just type in a letter, so E. So when I press triangle on my gamepad, it'll do the letter E. Uh, so let me just do it like this. Let's make this R, I, C. So here's how you do uh, configure the mouse to the um, uh, directional pad. Uh, double click it go to mouse alright move this cursor where you want it to go so move it like that 
because we're we're on the left key we're we're doing this one so you want to move it to the left all right so just press OK and as you can see when I press the left key the mouse goes and you can uh, toggle how how uh, fast it goes so if it's like negative 34 it'll go slower it'll go that slow but let's let's make it like 20 or whatever you want so now if I hold it it goes like that and uh, you can change it have it go right at 20 have this one have it go up and for this one you click you use this instead of this and go up by 20 be sure to press OK and not X because if you press X it doesn't count and then mouse go down by 20 okay so now we have uh, buttons assigned to the controller and we have the mouse assigned to the directional pad uh, let's see if it works see I'm using the controller and my mouse is moving like that now let's see if the uh, buttons that I assigned to here work um, so let's do E R I C Z A N D E R as you can see I only use the joy pad and uh, if I press X does that you know so it works and uh, you can still move around with this so pretty much you can control your computer with these uh, 10 buttons or however many buttons your joypad uh, has. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, once you close uh, Joy to Key, the assignment no longer works. So as long as you want um, the buttons to stay how it is, just minimize the program and don't actually close out of it. And then when you close out of it, that'll reset everything back to normal. If you have any more questions, ask me in the comments. I'm looking over here, but you're over here. Ask me in the comments, and I'll be sure to respond to you. Uh, if I helped you, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I have a bunch of playlists. And, um, well, hope that I helped you guys. See ya.